so I can hear you, I can see you, so we can start with the introduction first. So my name is Edwin, I'm an International Studies Coordinator here in Vilnius University. I'll be interviewing you here today for, well, probably about 15-20 minutes. We're going to talk a little bit about the studies program, about your future plans a little bit, what's your, you know, motivation and that kind of thing. So, what I want from you now is a little introduction as well, just a couple of sentences. What's your name, what program are you applying to and why? Okay, thank you sir, first of all, giving me this opportunity. Uh, for introduction uh, myself. My name is Sapna Saini. Basically, I am from Ambala, Haryana, and uh, which is situated in northern part of India. And uh, I choose a quality, ma master's in quality management in Vilnius University. And uh, if I talk about my uh, for future plans, first of all, I want to complete this uh, course. And after that, I will work uh, in uh, same stream I will come back in India and I will uh, start my career here only. Okay, got it. Well, first of all, uh, it's nice to meet you, Sapna, and well, thank you for your answer as well. So, to start with, why quality management? Why this program specifically? Okay, so well, quality management is highly ranked uh, according to 2021. Uh, global ranking it ranked uh, 15th place out of uh, uh, top 30 masters program in quality management in the world so uh, moreover it also enhance uh, the practical skill and knowledge and it is also uh, help me to make me a very um, qualified and very highly uh, qualified manager in quality management basically uh, basically quality management uh, is uh, helpful to make product and service more functioning for an organization so that's why i choose quality management because quality management help me to uh, work in a different type of multinational companies and it will also help me to make my career more successful all right got it thank you for your answer again so tell me you are probably reading about the program a little bit online so which courses do you think you would find the most interesting um uh, about uh, if I talk about the courses in this program, there are two type of courses. Uh, uh, there is compulsory and elective courses, uh, which I uh, re read. I there are uh, four subjects in compulsory course. Like uh, number one is uh, um, research method and uh, total quality management and. Uh, uh, that's it and in elective uh, uh, courses there are three subjects number one is uh, uh, organizational psychology basically uh, if i talk about my favorite uh, one is leadership uh, because leadership helped me in my career more uh, i can easily manage uh, further my decision it, it also helped me uh, in my decision making skills all right got it so Coming back to the studies now, what do you expect to get as a person from this studies program? Sorry, will you please repeat it? As a person, what do you want to get out of the studies program? Personally, what skills do you like to gain, like finishing okay. this master's degree? Okay, after, uh, well, after doing this master's degree, I will be able to uh, make a good decision making power and uh, it helped me to manage a uh, team because in quality management i will be able to uh, learn how to manage a team and uh, it also giving me the leadership skills how i can lead the team so basically this these are the main uh, things which i attract towards this course Okay, got it. Thank you very much. So, now what do you think your long-term goals would be? Ideally, what would you like to do in the future when you finish the studies? What kind of a job you would like to do connected to the studies program you chose now? 
Okay, well, uh, if I talk about my long-term career goals, first of all, I want to complete this uh, uh, master's program. After that, I will uh, go for uh, multinational companies for a uh, quality manager job uh, because in every uh, company, there is a lot of requirement for a quality manager because products are the backbone of any company. And uh, if uh, I gain a good skills and practical knowledge about this uh, particular program it will help me to uh, get a job in a very famous multinational companies okay god do you have any companies in mind maybe you know any specific companies you would like to work well, uh, I didn't study right now about these companies, but after completion and uh, during this course, I will definitely search about uh, the companies, multinational companies for my further uh, career. Okay, got it. So, you know, let's go back a bit from the studies now. Let's talk about, uh, you know, general living things. So you're coming from India, so it's a very different country culturally, yes. climate-wise, religion-wise. Lithuania is in another side of the world, pretty much. So how would you feel you would adapt? Adapt? Would you feel home? Would you feel homesick? Sorry. And how would you feel here, being so different? Well, um, I am. Uh, I love to uh, meet different type of people, and uh, uh, I love to traveling and. Uh, uh, these big uh, i am not a homesick person uh, and uh, i easily can adapt in any uh, type of environment and culture and i want to uh, know about mo uh, more about lithuanian culture as well uh, because the people which uh, my study is uh, which i have searched about it the people of lithuania is very friendly and welcoming so that's why uh, i want to uh, know and learn more about the culture of Lithuania. Okay, got it. So why did you choose Vilnius University specifically? So and how did you find out about this? Well, when I was uh, searching about uh, studying abroad, I found uh, Europe is very uh, good for my studies. Uh, if I talk about uh, Lithuania and Vilnius, Vilnius uh, University is uh, uh, you know, uh, very well recognized in all over the world, and uh, there are a lot of many things which uh, and factors which also attracts toward Vilnius University. There are uh, many uh, many students who are studying in Vilnius University. Basically, the program structure is also uh, make me uh, attracted towards this university, uh, like. Uh, we can easily study in Lithu Vilnius University in English language. It we can uh, study part time and full time. And uh, secondly, the fee structure is very economical, and accommodation charges is very com economical and uh, pocket friendly. So the faculty is also excellent here. So that's why I choose Vilnius University for my further studies. Okay, got it. So. What do you know about Lithuania as a country in general? What did you read about it? Well, I uh, search a lot about Lithuania country. The people are very welcoming, and uh, uh, there are the climate uh, is uh, also a very, you know, it is the cold temper tempered zone. There are uh, moderate warm summer and uh, moderate cold winter and uh, we can i can easily survive here and uh, the there are a lot of other famous cities like conus and uh, kalpeda is also famous city uh, that's it okay thank you for your answer so coming back a bit to your previous studies in india so what subjects did you like the most studying before getting your bachelor's degree? What was the most interesting thing for you to study? Well, there are a lot of uh, subjects in my uh, each sub semesters because my study was in semester wise. Uh, so there are uh, almost six semesters and uh, I love more accountancy is my favorite subject uh, that time. Got it. So you know, I think that's going to be it for me. I don't have any more questions. Maybe you have any questions for me? 
No, no, sir. I have no questions. Okay, so I will try to explain how the admission works now. So usually they give an answer between a week and a, in a period between one week and two weeks. So usually it could be a little bit earlier, could be, you know, a week and a half, maybe three, four days. But, you know, if you wait longer than that, if you wait a bit longer than two weeks, so you can email the admissions and also include my email as well if you didn't get an answer this quick. And then when you get an answer, pretty much admissions will tell you what to do step by step, what documentation is necessary. And, you know, they will prepare you a little bit before coming here to Lithuania. You'll see everything regarding the visas, regarding the tuition fees and you know, you'll get all the information pretty much from the admissions through your online application account. And when you come here, you're in to Vilnius, you're going to, you know, communicate with the study coordinators and then we can, you know, explain you more a bit about the studies in general. Now we're just, you know, talking to you during this interview, but, you know, we cannot answer you a lot, so it's all up to admissions now. And when you start studying and become a student here, then they will, you know, then you can talk to us a bit more, we will explain how you know the okay, so courses work, the lectures and, and such things. So, you know, thank you for your answers, thank you for your time and hopefully we'll see you here in autumn then. Okay, so thank you, thank you very much sir. Bye bye. Bye bye.